it seems like there is so much sickness and so many viruses going around this season. And one of the ways that I like to keep my family healthy, besides eating well, staying active, and keeping up on our immune support herbs, is I like to make homemade sugar-free elderberry gummies. They are made with absolutely no sugar, flavorful spices, and powerful dried elderberries. Hi, I'm Alicia from the blog Homemade Homestead. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you how to make elderberry or specifically sugar-free elderberry gummies. So elderberries are good to, for treating a variety of ailments. So this includes colds, flus, um, a lot of respiratory troubles. Um, they're also good for treating fevers, um, boosting the overall immune system and they can even help to improve seasonal allergies. So the easiest or most popular way to consume elderberry is through elderberry syrup. But I have heard of people who prefer to just eat them dried. Um, some people make homemade jam with them and some people even just steep them into an elderberry tea. Uh, the simple, well, I guess maybe not the simplest way, but one of the uh, most delicious ways to make or to consume elderberry is to put it into a gummy. It's good for adults and it's really good for kids who might not be so willing to uh, take a dried herb um, to help them boost their immune system or to treat some kind of trouble that they're having. You really have to tend to hide those herbs and, and delicious things and then you can get that into their system. So my recipe for elderberry gummies does not include any kind of sugar. Rather than putting high amounts of sugar, whether it's a natural or a processed sugar, I prefer to sweeten the gummies with apple juice concentrate. Then I add in some flavorful spices and, of course, the elderberries. So if you are interested in learning how to make these sugar-free gummies, then follow along and I will show you exactly how to do so. To make this recipe, you will need to make some elderberry syrup if you don't have any on hand already. You can find the specific measurements for each ingredient over on the blog by clicking the link in the description box. In a saucepan over medium heat, add the water, elderberries, ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. Bring to a boil. Cover with a lid and reduce heat to medium-low. Simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes until the liquid has reduced by at least half. You should have about 3 fourths to 1 cup of syrup when you're finished. Remove pan from heat and allow to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Crush berries to release any excess liquid. Place a fine mesh strainer over a bowl and line the strainer with a piece of cheesecloth. Pour the liquid through the cloth, pressing the berries as you go. Pour the syrup into a jar and store it in the fridge until you are ready to use it. When you're ready to make the gummies, start by pouring the apple juice concentrate into a saucepan. Bring to a boil. Meanwhile, add the elderberry syrup to a bowl. Sprinkle the gelatin over top and allow to bloom for 5 minutes. Add the hot apple juice to the gelatin mixture and stir until completely dissolved. Pour mixture into small silicone molds.
place elderberry gummies in the fridge to set for approximately 30 minutes to an hour depending on how deep your silicone mold is. Remove the gummies from the mold and enjoy. You can refrigerate any extras. Depending on the size of molds you use, I usually take about 3 gummies a day and recommend 1 to 2 gummies per day for children over 2 years old. For more natural living tutorials and home remedies, as well as a couple free ebooks on these topics, be sure to check out the blog at homemadehomestead.com. Well, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.